The Timid Frog, written by Catherine Veitch, illustrated by Amanda Enright. All the nocturnal animals were waking up for the evening. Eek! What's that? Fay the giant tree frog was afraid of everything that moved. Now that she was no longer a tadpole and had grown up, it was time for Fay to leave her forest pool. Her brothers and sisters had already left to live in the trees. It felt strange standing on land with her new legs for the first time. Nervously, Faye hopped across the leafy forest floor onto a fallen branch. Hey, watch out, said Lara, a leaf-tailed gecko. You're hopping on my tail. S -s Sorry, your tail looks just like a leaf. Faye asked Lara if she had seen her family. I saw some frogs hopping that way, said Lara, but watch out for a wild pig who eats frogs like you. Suddenly, there was a loud honk and squeal. Faye remembered Lara's warning and darted inside a hollow log just in time. A wild pig charged past, making Faye tremble. When the pig had gone, Faye crept out of her hiding place. She wished she could return to her forest pool, where she felt safe and happy. Hello, echoed the log behind Faye. She sprang round to face whatever had been hiding in the log with her. Who's there? she asked shyly. Sorry I startled you. I'm Bo, a bandicoot. Faye and Bo climbed onto the log and laughed at what a scaredy cat Faye had been. I saw some frogs climbing that tree, said Bo. Faye was hopeful that she would soon see her family. Faye stood at the bottom of a huge tree that seemed to go on forever. It had been raining and the trunk was wet and slippery. How can I climb that? she whispered to herself. Faye took a deep breath and leapt onto the trunk. My toes stick like glue to the tree. Climbing the tree was easier than she thought. But Faye was not alone in the tree. <laughs> Above Faye and blocking her path was a huge, sleeping, frilled lizard. Faye did not know if the lizard was friendly, but she wasn't hanging around to find out. There was no way round the snoozing lizard, so Faye would have to do a huge hop over it. One, two, three, she counted, and then Faye leapt magnificently over the lizard, but landed right in front of a dozing green tree python. Ah, gosh, Faye! Her big brother had often frightened her with stories of snakes that gobbled up frogs. Luckily, this snake had just eaten and was fast asleep, but Faye certainly didn't want to wake him. Please don't wake up. Psst! whispered a voice that made Faye jump. She looked up. Two bright eyes belonging to a spotted cuscus stared from between the leaves. Hop up the vine, the cuscus said. Thanks, replied Faye. She was glad to leave the snake behind. I'm Cooper, said the cuscus. Cooper said that some frogs had passed him just yesterday and told Faye to follow him. But Cooper was not the quickest animal in the rainforest. He climbed so slowly that Faye could not wait a minute longer. She sprang over Cooper, zipped along the branch and bashed into Freya the flying fox. Who do we have here? asked Freya between mouthfuls of fruit. Don't worry, gulped Faye. I'm not hanging around. And she hopped past Freya as fast as she could. Next, Faye met Sasha the sugar glider who had some bad news. Some green-eyed tree frogs live in this tree. but a family of giant tree frogs live over in that tree, said Sasha. Faye had climbed the wrong tree. I can't jump to that tree from here, she wept. I have an idea, replied Sasha. Sasha told Faye to climb onto her back. Faye clung on tight and screamed as they glided through the air. Thwack! Faye had made it. Faye's brothers and sisters were there and she could not wait to tell them all about her journey. I can't believe how brave you are now, said Flynn, Faye's eldest brother. Faye smiled at Flynn and said yes. I am brave. The end. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.